Uh, Taryn Manning uh, is here. She stars in the new Lifetime movie, Cleveland Abduction, uh, as Michelle Knight. Uh, this story, it's been described as brutal, gruesome, and yet uplifting. These girls held captive for more than a decade. Here's Taryn with Raymond Cruz, who plays her captor, Ariel Castro. Lily, why don't you just turn yourself in? Huh? Maybe if you turned yourself in, they won't go so so hard, and they'll go easier. Right. And then my whole family know what I've been doing. Who cares about what your family thinks? It's only about God. Where was God when he let you get into my car? Well, like this, this is the you know, top ripped out of the headlines. This is a story that you will all remember in Cleveland. Three of you held captive all those years. The person you're playing, you know, by the way. Yeah, well, I've gotten to know her, yes. And, and did you get to meet her because you were doing the role? And was she around when you were doing this? Yeah, Michelle, Michelle Knight is who I'm portraying. Um, she goes as Lily now. So okay. officially, she's Lily. Um, I got to meet her. She's like a staple in Cleveland. You can find her doing karaoke or just, you know, she's out and about and she's just very happy, positive, uplifting person. What was it that made you feel like you wanted to, to tell this story? Because as I was watching it, it was, you were living, you can't even imagine the horrors. Yeah. And yet, you, the, at the end, you're just crying for the happiness of it all. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things, like, I, you know, I heard about it, and um, my manager, you know, my team, they sort of, they went after it for me, and, and um, it, it came to me, and I was so excited. Called my mom like I, I, I always do, and um, it was like silence on the other end of the phone. And I was like, hello, huh? Okay. And my mother wasn't, like, she didn't want me to play it, this role. And she's always very enthusiastic. Because it's so dark? I, yeah, I, I believe, you know, she just, the thought of it, Don't you know, just, it's truly just hor horrific. And, and, and you're, the character you play, the person you play, yes. Michelle Knight, uh, she was abducted when she was older than the other two girls. If I, correct me if I remember this. Yeah, one. you're right. And unwanted, though. Well, Made to feel. Family felt she ran away. Yeah. So they didn't even go after her. Yeah, yeah. Her. She was never looked for, and um, in my understanding, her mother even moved away. Yeah. Um, like one, only one year later to Florida, and he constantly reminded her of that. That was one of his main manipulations, you know. To that nobody wants you, only I want you. Yeah. In, in whatever and, the situation and is. And not even that. He was mad at himself, like, I didn't get what I wanted all over again. For He thought she was a lot younger. Yeah, yeah, and she was 21 at the yeah. time. For you, uh, how has she been able to look at it? Has she seen the whole movie, and, and what did she think? Um, she, you know, she has uh, mixed feelings about it, because, you know, it's, it's hard to sum up 11 years. She was there the longest, and she was the first one. 11 years of, you know, trying to tell her story in, in, into this film. I mean, um, she would come to set, but certain scenes, like, she didn't want to be there for. She didn't want to be there at all. How does it make, as an actor, how do you feel that she's in the next room when you're playing her? <laughs> uh, so nervous. I, I've, ne I've, I've never been so nervous in my life. Sure. But, um, there was one time there was a scene that um, was really challenging for me, and uh, I asked for a moment, like, can I have five? And I called her, and I was like, I'm really just, I don't, how, what really happened? You know, how did you, how did you react to this? And that was a moment that I found out about Michelle. Like, she wasn't totally subservient and just quiet. I mean, yeah, she was in chains, starved and beaten, but she, she fought back. As much as she was she could. also given the remember the strangeness of this the two other younger yeah, girls locked her yeah. she, she was kind of the maternal figure the in mama this. of them yeah so, I mean you know I, I can't speak for for like the the dynamic in in the house but um you know they were imagine very close and there probably was a hierarchy or pecking order and mm -hmm. I assume because she was a mother she is a mother in yeah. her life that she has a nurturing quality to her she, I I love her <laughs> I, I look up to her. And you still keep in contact yeah. with her. You're yeah. bold with her even, right? Yeah, we talked um, just last night. Did you? Yeah, for a long time. Um, so the, that comes out um, tomorrow night on yeah. Lifetime. Very different for Lifetime. Yeah, and of course, cool. a lot of us have fallen in love with you again. Um, Orange is the new oh, black. And the DVD's <laughs> coming out in time for the next season. Yeah, so. Explain to Steve all the characters, the name of the character you play. Well, I, I know like, you. All the you're you're yeah. Pensatucky, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I got you done. Uh, you're an interesting character because... <laughs> 
You're both. You're both kind of like a. Pre you're a preacher, kind of in a way. Yes, she thinks. Uh, sort of a tweaker. <laughs> uh, she was. You, you, you give me more words, okay? Um, she's like, um, you know, she's in there. She's in there for for murder, and she's got. You know, just ironically, when she, you know when she did what she did, there happened to be like a big protest going on outside of the abortion clinic. So she's being, you know, she's being like rallied for, sort of put through prison with like a lot of support. So she kind of digs digs into just the whole, you know, just Jesus and, but it's all skewed and it, yeah. it's not nothing is what it is. <laughs> yeah, right? it's like doesn't make sense but really. Why do people always talk about your teeth? <laughs> Apparently, after you do crystal meth for a certain amount of time and you don't care for your for your teeth, they mm -hmm. turn black and yellow. And that was got new ones. That was a serious grill you had going oh, on yeah, at some yeah, point. It really was. It was awful. Yeah, when I got beat up, uh, which I deserved. Hawaii Five O. Yeah, that's a change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love that show. Love him. Um, mm -hmm. That was fun. I got to move to Hawaii for a year, and I loved it. it really, it really kind of was life changing. It's a slower pace. Well, how island feel, fever. How do you feel when your agent tells you that there are scripts for people who are looking for the Taryn Manning character? Um, pretty much, um, all right, so is yeah. she uh, pregnant? <laughs> is she you know, is troubled? <laughs> no, and, I, and it's not that. I feel, I feel that I, I, I do play characters with depth. I like to say, and, you know, mm. it's hard, you know, I don't know why, but someone's got to do it. And so before we go, like, let's mention the music quickly. What, what's please. the latest with the music with you? Um, so, you know, music. You know, you asked me about it. It's my love. It's sort of, it's my outlet to just, you know, it's a crazy business, but it's always good to have that yeah. creative outlet. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, what else do you have? There's something else you're doing. Uh, you got a book? <laughs> no. Clothing, clothing line. Clothing line. I used to. Used to. Yeah. You did have a clothing line. I did, I did. Yeah, seven okay. years. Cleveland <laughs> Abduction <laughs> airs tomorrow night at 8 on Lifetime. It, it, and it is uplifting. Great to see it you. Is Thank you for coming in. It gets you there, right?